So what are you finding as you go around and speak to the pastors? Are people receptive? Are pastors receptive? Are Christians getting engaged? What's happening? Yes, sir. I think more and more. You know, I, I remember the first time I was in Durango, actually, in your state of Colorado, mm -hmm. and a pastor said, you know, Chad, I, I appreciate what you're saying. You're right. We have to be salt and light. But, you know, we just don't do politics in the pulpit. And I said, Pastor, and I honestly didn't have a good answer. That was in 2013. And I, I so I did that. What do you mean to give me a little chance to say a prayer and say, Lord, you better give me a lot. And I said, so you don't do politics in the pulpit. He said, you know, we just don't do things that are controversial. And I said, well, do you preach the Bible? You know, the whole counsel of God. And he said, I don't understand. I said, I don't believe life is political, Pastor. I don't believe religious liberty or traditional biblical marriage or defense of Israel. Those aren't political issues. Those wow. are spiritual ones. I can show you in the Word of God where it is. Now, they've been politicized. But that doesn't remove my responsibility and your responsibility to teach our people how to think. And so they've been more responsive Good. than I thought. You, you d definitely run into entire groups and maybe even denominations that'll put up a wall. And I just respond to them, please tell me what is political about nonpartisan voter registration. What's political about teaching your people to vote biblical values? It's not a a Republican, Democrat issue. It's it's understanding that Jesus, as we say, Brother Andrew in South Carolina, Jesus ain't running. Therefore, we're always voting for the lesser of two evils. Yeah. It's a mm -hmm. binary choice. Yeah. We shouldn't select on politics or party. We should select on principles and policies that most reflect our biblical worldview. So some of them are responsive. Uh, what I've tried to do is meet pastors, build relationships, and ask them to introduce me to their buddies so they would hear the same message. 